Hello and welcome. In order to succeed, your desire for success should be greater than your fear of failure. Friends, wine cheers the sad, revives the old, inspires the young and makes weariness forget his toil. We all must have heard the name of William Grant and Sons Corporation Limited, which is an independent, family-owned Scottish company which distills Scotch whiskey and other selected categories of spirits. It was established in 1887 by William Grant and is now running by the descendants of the founder. It is the largest of the handful of Scotch whiskey distillers remaining in family ownership. William Grant and Sons is often abbreviated to W. Grant and Sons or just Grants after the leading blended whiskey of the same name. Hello, I'm Stella David, CEO of the global success story that is William Grant and Sons. In 2011, we created a statement that we believe embodies who we are and why we do it. Our history defines us, the future inspires us. I believe the main reason for this success is the long-term vision and commitment of our shareholders and the unique culture that defines us. So how does our culture our defining character translate into success for our portfolio of award-winning brands and people. Well, financial figures year on year show our impressive growth, built by a worldwide team who know that they can make a difference every day and their pioneering ideas will be listened to and acted upon with agility. We are 100% committed to building our brands and their brand value. And as part of this commitment, we have continued to extend our brand's global reach with offices in new and exciting markets such as Russia, India, China, Korea, Brazil and Colombia. William Grant was born in Dufftown in 1839. The young Grant worked at Morchlass Distillery and dreamt of one day running his own distillery. He worked hard and saved and in 1886, Grant and his nine children laid the first stone of the Glant Fiddish Distillery. It was a Christmas day in 1887 when the first spirit ran from the stills. In 1892, William Grant and Sons bought a second neighbouring distillery called the Balvini. In 1898, the two distilleries started blending their whiskies and Grand Whiskey was born. In May 2010, the group bought four brands from CNC Group, including Tullamore Dew, for 300 million euros. In September 2010, they sold the three minor brands to Grupo Campari for 129 million euros. At William Grant and Sons, the groups feel that they work in an exciting and commercial company and are proud of success and heritage. Company has a stretching vision to be the most coveted branded spirits company in the world. Company has two core assets, company brands and company people. Achieving vision depends on the contribution and commitment of all employees. Company values shape the way to work together and living the values is one way of helping consumers achieve their vision. These five values are be supportive, be better and be enthusiastic. At William Grant and Sons, the distinctive nature of business is defined by the character of people. Founder William Grant was a true pioneer and his spirit, passion and innovation is very much at the heart of culture today. Company encourages creativity and fresh ideas. As a family-run business, company's employees are always close to the heart of the business and so can clearly be seen how they can make a real difference. As a family-run business, company actively supports employees to achieve a healthy working life. Company are committed to creating an environment and culture that makes the time employees spend at work stimulating and rewarding while also ensuring that employees have the time away from work to relax, recharge and enjoy a rounded life. The major competitors of William Grant & Sons are Diageo, Edrinton Group Limited and Glanmorangi Company.
product of William Graham and Sons includes Glan Fiddish Single Mal Scotch Whiskey, Kendrick Gin, Sailor Jerry Rum, Tullamore Dew, Recca Premium Icelandic Vodka, Sailor Jerry Spice Rum, and All Vetted Demerara Rum. We set up our global marketing office in um, Dublin about two and a half years ago, and we set up for three reasons. First of all, it's because we're looking to grow our non-Scotch brands, and our Scotch brands are marketed out of London. We wanted a separate office for our non-Scotch brands, such as Hendrix or Osada Jerry. Um, so that was one reason. And the second reason, no surprise, uh, there were some significant financial incentives with corporation tax uh, to be based in Ireland, and it's very important that Ireland stays competitive. Um, and the third reason is we bought Tullamore Dew, which is the second largest Irish whiskey brand in the world. So that meant uh, an increased rationale for being in Ireland. So that's why we're here. Um, I think things that can be done to uh, attract more businesses into Ireland are, first of all, to stay competitive. I think it's very important that Ireland stays competitive as a base, because the more competitive it is, the more incremental uh, decisions will go in Ireland's favour that will build employment and growth um, and, and exports. The company is the third largest producer of Scotch whisky after Diageo and Pernod Richard. Premium Spirits Business and independent family distillers William Grant and Sons has today entered into a binding agreement to sell its three recently acquired Linkwell brands Carolans, Frangelico and Irish Mist following a compelling offer of 129 million euros from Grupo Campari. William Grant and Sons Limited has achieved pre-tax profits for the group of £83.6 million for 2007, up by 7% on the previous year on an increased turnover of £495.7 million. It has recorded annual sales of more than £1 million for the first time. The Speyside based distillers said turnover rose by 9% last year following increased investment across its core brands. The William Grant and Sons legal team wanted the ability to proactively plan and organize their workload more effectively and efficiently. They wanted to capture key information such as cost and legal risk easily and have the visibility to make instant decision about where to focus their legal resources. They also wanted to legally empower the business. William Grant and Sons adopted a highly collaborative approach to design and implementing the solution which was built on the William Grant and Sons SharePoint 2007 architecture established on an earlier development project. A key requirement was the full participation of William Grant and Sons leading to a successful knowledge transfer process from company net to William Grant and Sons staff resulting in a high level of self-sufficiency and low support cost. So friends, don't aim for success if you want it. Just do what you love and believe in and it will come naturally. Thank you and good luck.